Hello, my name's Bob. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use one of Baselight's powerful keyers to create a mat from specific colors in an image, which you can then use to correct just those areas of the image. In an earlier tutorial, you saw how I used simple color curves to adjust the hue of a blue dress. In this tutorial, I'm going to use the same dress, but I'm going to create a mat by pulling a key from the blue and then we can do the color correction inside that mat. The first thing I'm going to do is pop out the Baselight user interface. Now I need to add a new layer. I can either do that by clicking on the layer manager button and then on plus or alternatively I can just press P on the keyboard. Now in this layer I want to create a mat to isolate the blue areas in the dress. So I'm going to click on the mat button and this brings up the various keyers and shapes that we have available to create a mat. In this case I'm going to use the D key and I can either click on the D key button here or I can press U on the keyboard. Now to create the mat I just simply drag across the blue areas in the image and if you look over this side you'll see there are blue pixels in our color cube which have been added to the mat. If I click on this button here and select layer mat you can see what the mat looks like. Now that's not all the blue shades yet. Um, I can overlay the mat using this button so we can now add by dragging other parts of the dress and you can see the uh, colors gradually filling in. We'll just uh, try and include all the different shades of blue. Okay, that last one, um, it looks like I included some pixels that are black because uh, over here we've uh, added these pixels to the mat as well. It's not a problem though. If I hold down shift and just drag across this area, then it will remove those from the mat. Okay, looks like we've got most of the blue shades. I'm now going to show you how to view this as a, an inverted overlay. If we click on here and choose layer mat invert overlay we can now see just the areas of the image that will be affected by our color grade. Okay, it doesn't look too bad, but I want to look at it in more detail now. So I'm going to zoom in by holding down the command key and clicking with the middle mouse button and dragging to the right. And if I let go of the command key and just drag with the middle mouse button, we can pan the image. So if I zoom in a bit further, you can see here there's quite a jagged edge along there so I want to try and smooth that off. If we come over here we've got an, a mat tool which allows us to adjust the mat. I can either enable it just by clicking on the button there or I can press B on the keyboard. Now I'm going to use the blur just to soften the whoops not that much just to soften the edge of the mat Okay, there we go. You can see that's nicely softened. But the problem is it's now started to overlap off the blue colors. So these areas will be affected a little bit by the grade. So I'm going to use a curve to choke the mat back in a little bit. If I drag these handles. Okay, there you go. You can see we've now brought the mat back in so it's not overlapping beyond the blue. Okay, by pressing F12 on the keyboard, it now zooms the image back to its original size. And we can go back to view the bottom layer output, and now we just see the whole image again. Of course, there's a mat in there now. If we now go back to this button here, it allows us to grade inside the mat. And what we want to do is we want to change the blue shade of that dress. So I'm going to choose the hue shift and I'm going to adjust just the blue hues and I'll drag them towards the magenta. Maybe not quite that far. There we go, that's a much nicer blue. That's much closer to the, the blue that it really was. And I'm also going to increase the saturation here. And there we go, that looks much nicer. I'll just pop the Baselight UI back in again and by toggling this B button on and off, we can see the effect of the grade that we just did. And if I just drag the cursor along the timeline, 
we can see uh, just check to make sure that that key works okay throughout the whole shot that looks fine now that was just a simple example showing you how we could change the hue of a particular part of the image but of course we could build up much more complex mats and do much more complicated grading inside them